So this is something really cool I want to share with the whole internet, especially if you're a car guy, car enthusiast, a car lover, if you have a car, if you don't have a car, if you want to help a neighbor or a friend, this is something I thought would be really cool. So I decided that I wanted to try and make this amazing cocktail to help completely clean the fuel system of a vehicle and the entire engine and everything all in once. And it helps clean the Cadillac converters, the whole exhaust, clean it all the way out without doing anything but just pouring a cocktail of different chemicals in the gas tank. So I decided to start experimenting and tinkering with these different chemicals and I started discovering some amazing, amazing benefits from these products you can buy right at your local Walmart. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what I did and I'm gonna take it one step further with an additional chemical that I think will take it right over the top. I haven't tried it yet and this is going to be an official test video for that and to see if this all really does work out. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I did was I poured a whole gallon's worth of Marvel's mystery oil in the gas tank to see how well it would do. And it did okay. The car seemed to run a little bit better. The spark plugs didn't look that much different though. I was looking for more. So I knew that while a whole gallon of Marvel's mystery oil was great, it wasn't enough. So then I decided to pour a whole gallon of Lucas upper cylinder lubricant in with the whole gallon of Marvel's mystery oil to see if then there's an improvement on what has happened. And I was really, really shocked. Uh, not only did the car feel smoother, it was running a whole lot better. It felt like it had more power. I could easily pass cars I couldn't before. It was great. Even the spark plugs were so much more lubricated, whereas with the Marvel's Mystery Oil only, they were really, really dry. So I know how well it's working and how important it is to have everything in the engine lubricated. So the spark plugs were definitely a good indication that the blend of Marvel's Mystery Oil and Lucas upper cylinder lubricant was doing a fantastic job of keeping everything lubricated, clean, and running good, but I thought something just isn't right. There should be more. I need more. I maybe got another mile or two per gallon better gas mileage, but I know I should be getting at least five or six with doing all of this, adding all of these chemicals to the gas tank. It's chemistry. The more you add, the more you should get back. And I'm thinking, okay, so uh, what can be the missing link? What else can I pour in with the Marvel's Mystery Oil the Lucas Upper Cylinder Lubricant to get the best and final results, the results I am looking for. So it definitely hit me the last time I was shopping at Walmart for new underwear. I went into the automotive section, I browsed all of the products they have, and I wanted to be sure that I kept things consistent. I used a gallon of Marvel's Mr. Oil, I used a gallon of Lucas Upper Cylinder Lubricant, the next product I had to use obviously had to be another gallon because math. I can't deviate away from math. Numbers don't lie. So then I looked down at the bottom of the shelf and that's when I seen it. This stuff right here. I love Walmart's super tech brand of windshield wiper fluid and this stuff does great job of cleaning bugs and gunk off the windshield. I'm like, I know how hard bugs are to get off the windshield. So if this stuff can liquefy bugs like it's no one's business, then what can it do inside the engine? And maybe it can liquefy the carbon and everything and burn it up. So that's when I thought to put a whole gallon of this in with the gallon of Marvel's Mr. Oil and the gallon of Lucas to finally finish my cocktail. So I have not tested this yet, so I'm gonna go ahead, pour this in the car, I'm gonna go ahead and get out on the road and see what happens. Oh! You know, to get the maximum clean, you gotta be able to just ring it out, just keep it at the top RPMs for as long as possible. Right there, that's where it's gonna clean the 
best. I'm just gonna drive like this. Woo! It looks like it's working fine. Oh, it's breaking up really bad. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it started breaking up really bad. It was breaking up and now it's not. So maybe it was just that little bit it puffed out and it's all cleared out now. I want to punch it and see what happens. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Good job, dumbass. You just blew your car up. Oh, it is idling really bad. Oh, God. No, that ain't good. Oh, that exhaust sounded really bad. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Um, that's that's not good at all. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, it's, is that oil? Oh, no. It's everywhere. I heard a knock, but I didn't think something was really that wrong. What the hell, all I did was clean the dang thing. Where is this oil from? Okay, so it's uh, it's been a few days since that last clip you saw. Um, as you can see, the, the car is not here. Uh, it's actually sitting at the shop. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, the, the shop says it's gonna need a new engine. That doesn't make any sense to me. I put all that stuff, it, I should it should be running better. I shouldn't need a new engine. It's got, it's got all that cleaning stuff in it now. This is, this is very, very, very upsetting. I was trying to do a good thing and, and, and try to help out everyone, you know, with this idea. I've always been told I'm smart by everyone, that I'm a genius in disguise. I don't know. Um, maybe they're wrong, or maybe I just haven't had my breakthrough yet. I do everything I can. I've always gotten, you know, gold stars and stickers in school for my projects and stuff. And I've always been encouraged. And, you know, if it was never the right time, my parents always just let me do whatever and take my time to make sure I got things right. Like just being in my early 20s, I still got college to think about. I know they're going to pay for that. They bought me that car. I was trying to keep it in good shape because uh, they, they were so nice to buy me this really expensive Mustang for my first car. Um, I watched YouTube videos. I mean, I live on YouTube. I've watched so many different videos. People always do these kind of things and they always have really good results. And I do it and, and the car blows up. You know, maybe it actually cleaned so well that it cleaned through some of the material in the engine. I'm that smart, I should be able to figure it out. That sounds kind of like a good possibility. But I mean, I did my best, I really did. And I've done a good job on, on everything in life. So, and I've always got recognition for the littlest things. I've always attended things to get some trophies. Um, even if I didn't do nothing, just attending, they give you trophies. And you know, it's a lot of work just to get up and, and go and do something. So, you know, I at least tried. And since I tried, you need to give this video some recognition so, you know, it, I can go forward with my life and, and things. Um, you know, you need to give it a thumbs up and you need to subscribe and, and share this around so I get the recognition I deserve uh, for, for trying. And I know it's not much, but I think it'd be very disrespectful if you didn't. And now my parents are going to have to buy me a new car since I, that one seems to not have made it. Maybe I can talk them into a new Corvette or something that maybe will hold up a little bit better. But please show this video a lot of love. I'm going to need it. I'm going to get through this. I need all the all the recognition and encouragement I can get. Please thumbs up, like it, share it, everything. Uh, show me your love. And that way my parents know that I am a good boy and I deserve that a new Z06 Corvette. I know they're building a new custom home for me on the water. I already got a boat order and everything, but and I can only use that stuff on the water. I need a car, so um, you know, the more thumbs up, the more likely they're gonna get me the Z06. I don't want a base Corvette, so 